the discovery of Free Eye Atlas, only the third interstellar object to, re- to traverse our solar system, and the discovery of this object has captivated astronomers worldwide. Detected on July the 1st of this year by the Atlas Survey in Chile, the asteroid terrestrial last alert system, Atlas, this object swiftly drew the attention, and this was due to its hyperbolic trajectory, its interstellar origin, and exceptionally fast travel speed. Free Eye Atlas's hyperbolic orbit and its high eccentricity confirm its origin is beyond our solar system, and it joins the ranks amongst Oumuamua and Tuai Borisov. Remarkably, its trajectory nearly aligns with the ecliptic plane and does not pose any threat to planet Earth, or does it? The passage of this object has brought profound scientific questions. Is it an alien technology? And recent observations have offered an unprecedented glimpse into material formed in distant planetary systems. On August the 6th, the James Webb Space Telescope observed Free Eye Atlas using its near-infrared spectrograph. These observations marked a milestone. The James Webb Space Telescope provided the first near-infrared spectroscopic analysis of an interstellar comet, unveiling chemical fingerprints. According to NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope's data has revealed that Free Eye Atlas exhibits an extraordinarily high chemical compound. And this is one of the highest ever recorded in cometary studies. In mainstream astrophysics, Free Eye Atlas is described as an interstellar comet with a hyperbolic orbit and an unusually strong CO2 outgassing. Its tail even points partly towards the sun rather than away from the sun, and this is a puzzling feature for standard solar wind plus sublimation explanations. But, from an electric universe point of view, this anomaly fits very neatly. The electric universe view holds that comets are not dirty snowballs, driven by sublimating ices, but rather charged bodies moving through the sun's plasma sheath. When an object enters the sun's heliosphere, it experiences strong electrical stresses as its charge attempts to equalise with the solar environment. For Free Eye Atlas, the inverted tail pointing sunward can be interpreted as a plasma discharge channel. This is an electric current drawn towards the solar electric field and not simple dust pushed away by solar wind. This mirrors discharge phenomena seen in laboratory plasma experiments and even matches ancient plasma glyphs carved into stone, which many electric universe theorists argue are records of past sky events. Some astronomers have speculated that Free Eye Atlas is slowing down and performing an interstellar braking manoeuvre, an artificial quality. But in electric universe terms, a charged object entering a plasma, a distant plasma regime, does encounter resistance, its electrostatic potential adjusts, which can look like a change in velocity. This charge exchange with the solar plasma could explain apparent deceleration without invoking alien technology, though electric universe thinkers wouldn't rule out the possibility of intelligence harnessing such forces. The odd tail pointing towards the sun, this recalls plasma instabilities that humans have witnessed in the Golden Age sky. Rock art motifs like the squatter man, the cosmic tree and the winged sun disk can be read as visualisations of comet-like discharges and gigantic plasma columns between the planets. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below. And as always guys, thank you for watching.